Hi everybody, I'm Dee. And I'm Jay. And, and we, we are, are Paro DJ. DJ. Welcome to our MSC Divina series. Three fun-filled nights, mm. and we're so excited to do it. Yeah, we are out of Miami. We have Nassau and the Ocean Key on this itinerary. Oh, it's like our favorite place. Yeah, no, obviously we need to throw it back and get you caught up. So uh, we did obviously use safe cruise parking again mm -hmm. in Miami. Excellent. Y'all use our promo code PDJ2024 if you want to save 15%. You save so much money uh, and yeah. it's super safe. Yeah, the prices at the port are nuts. So uh, we gave up yeah. on all that. So. <laughs> Anyway, but I think that's it. So y'all, get ready. We're throwing it back. Get throw, throw it at them. Well, we've just parked the car. We've rolled the bags over here to the old Safe Cruise vehicle. And ooh, looks like we got a van today. Let's do it. That's right. to Terminal C. We have no luggage to declare, so we'll just roll ourselves down to the check-in area. Now they've divided us today so that half the ship is entering in the west entrance and half is in the east entrance. We're here at the east entrance. There we have it. We will see you on the other side. We've made it through x-ray and through check-in and we are upstairs ready to presumably go to the waiting area. We'll see if they're boarding yet. It's only 11.30ish. We found a seat. We are boarding group one. They've also given us our welcome aboard sheet. Cabins will be ready at about 2 o'clock p.m. Cruise cards will be available outside the cabin. There's a few good stuffing things on the back side. It is 12 o'clock and they have called all Aria and Diamond members. Well, I can't say first steps, but welcome back to Divina. Well, they've got Do Re Mi and everybody out here. That's the youth mascot. I think we're gonna go ahead and head up to some food. Oh, it's all coming back to me now. I was worried I wouldn't remember this layout. Deck 14 is where the food is. So welcome to Calume Buffet. Well, Dia's off to explore the buffet. Oh, all the good food's on the other side. All right, well, we found a nice quiet table here by the window with a nice little view. Well, that is perfection right there. Mostly referring to the pizza because um, <laughs> best pizza at sea, fight me. Salad looks good too. So the grill station is rocking sandwiches, burgers, quesadillas, hot dogs. We got a whole bunch of fruit excitement going on. Let's continue, there's the salad bar. What are our actual toppings? All right, tomatoes, cubes, onions, carrots, cabbage, and more cabbage. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. Well, we got stir fried cauliflower, red curry fried rice. Oh, pizza, pizza, pizza. We got margarita, we got a whole wheat, a pepperoni. What's over here? Vegetable pizza, little ham, tomato mozzarella, or mozzarella corn, mushroom, bell pepper, green goddess, and onion. All right, y'all, don't be scared when I show you this plate, okay? Now, I know what you're thinking. Who kidnapped Jay and forced him to eat all these vegetables? I've actually been craving some good veggies. So there was the stir-fried cauliflower, sort of a broccoli green bean deal, and I got a veggie pizza. Ha oh, ha. Who are you? I don't know. <laughs> Beverage station, of course, complete with those nice MSC mugs. <laughs> Do we have besides water? All right, cranberry juice, which I guess is kind of empty. That was probably a breakfast thing, but iced tea and lemonade, and of course, coffee and stuff. I guess we'll also take a tour of the tea while we're here. What is that one? English breakfast that's laying down. Earl Grey, lemon. And this buffet goes on and on forever. This is the side that's not quite opened yet. We're gonna head to the aft and find this sneaky little elevator lobby. Wander down to a lounge where we can just chill out until cabins are ready. Hey there, sneaky little lobby. See, nobody's back here. So here at the back of deck seven, we have the black and white lounge, which should be blissfully quiet and peaceful. Yes, all these seats. There's the door we just came in. Giant bar, big old stage with a dance floor. This is right up our alley. 
We can also get some views past Terminal B down to A, a little Independence of the Seas down there. They're actually doing like a chartered rock cruise, according to somebody that was riding the shuttle with us. Sammy Hagar is on that ship right now. Hmm. And to be clear, Sammy Hagar was not in the shuttle with us, but the people that were riding in the shuttle said Sammy Hagar is on that ship. I'm always curious to hear how many languages we're going to experience on any given MSC cruise. So for this particular one, the answer is five. We had English, Spanish, Italian, French, and German. I was wondering if Portuguese would be snuck in there too, because Armonia, we had six. Yeah, you just never know. But then last time we were on here, it was just English and Spanish. So yeah. it just depends on the crowd. Yeah. It's cool though, the same lady doing all those announcements. She did all of them. Her all accent was spot on mm -hmm. too. <laughs> anyway, here's where we will be if you need us. Until our rooms are ready. Although they did say in five different languages that you could drop your bags off at the cabin and leave the cabin and explore the ship. But we are cozy back here for now, so I think we'll just hang. All right, time for an adventure to the cabin. Who you gonna call? So we live on Lucky Deck 13, the Cupido Deck, even side. Oh, yep, cleaning's still in progress, but the keys are on the door, so time to drop bags. Well, here's a quick peek at the cabin. We'll come back in here later and do the full tour. Very cute. Now let's explore. Well, let's explore deck seven. So Pantheon Theater at the very front. We'll be checking more into that later. Let's wander aftwardly. Well, there should be La Luna Piano Bar. Oh, we get a little peek down into the casino down on deck six. That tune's bumping. It's a party. Man, if you and a hundred friends ever need a bench to sit on, woohoo! There you are. Oh, I've got some bad memories of this place. Hitting my head on the chandeliers. Yeah, these uh, low-hanging chandeliers were always trouble. Got a little stage up there. This is the gold something. Hey, there's a sports bar over there. I always forget. I can't really see the signs for the places until I'm about ready to leave them, I don't think. What is this called? Gold or golden? Golden. golden. All right, well, I guess we're golden. golden. That has brought us out to the atrium and, of course, some very, very shiny staircases, as always. All them crystals. Opposite that, we've got the MSC logo shop with all your cute necessities. Around every corner is just more cute decor and mirrors that make me think I can run into them like they're a doorway. Uh, forget, is this, uh, yeah, I see Butcher's Cut across the way. We do want to ask about some stuff at Butcher's Cut, so let's wander this way. All right, we stopped by to get an answer because usually being Diamond Loyalty members, you do get one specialty dining meal per cruise, but on a three-night cruise, you do not get that. So I had caught some inklings and just wanted to confirm. Three nights, no dinner. Four nights, yes, dinner. No, nothing specific in writing anywhere yeah. on their website about how that works. So now you know. That's true. It's very vague. It just it says certain vague. ships and certain sailings and certain restaurants might apply, but inquire on board. Yeah. So no butcher's cut for us right now. That's okay. It'll be okay. <laughs> There's the sign for this area, La Cantina di Bacco. That will take us through the photo gallery. While we're on the subject of dining, they do still have those specialty packages where you can get a two meal, a butcher's cut meal, or a dinner and bubbles. <laughs> and that brings us right back to the black and white lounge. So that is all of deck seven. <laughs> now we did pass a kiosk and I think we do need to make show reservations. Normally they list the one show per day. Mm, I don't know about on this size of ship though. There it is, no reservations required, first come, first serve. So they got 7.30 and 9.30 as the show times. Tonight is the songbook, Beatles. Nice. Well, before we go wander in deck six, we're gonna do some exploration in the app because we were curious if Divina was a smart ship or not. When you download the app, it doesn't sound like you can use it on Divina, but I'm pretty sure we used it on Divina last time and confirmed it works on Divina. Oh my gosh, here is something new to me in the app anyway. Sometimes it has been a pain to get a credit card registered with MSC. The website doesn't want to let you do it before you board. The app doesn't really want to let you do it, but they've got it when you're on the ship and you scan your little barcode and you get in here, <gasps> register a credit card, because usually you had to go to guest services or use one of those kiosks. This is cool. 
Now, interestingly enough, I know you guys are like, stop looking at the app already. Under our purchased thingamajiggies on this cruise, it says specialty restaurant diamond package. So I guess we'll go back to Butcher's Cut and just verify, is that something that is technically included, but just not honored on this length of sailing or what? But that's weird that it does show up. Because if we can go get your um, banana rum cake dessert that you love with your whole heart, that would be amazing. Uh, it's fine. But, it, but it would, I just don't want to have the wrong information. That's true. Yeah. We, you know, this is I, I like documenting these questions that we come up with along the way, how we learn things because you can't know everything. No. And things change a lot. And sometimes depending on who you ask. But I'm gonna go ask the same lady that yeah. I just asked. So okay. we'll let you know. Update to the update, the news did not change. Okay, the best that they could explain is that that shows up in the app anytime that you are a diamond and you book a cruise. Whether the ship is going to honor it or not, it shows up in there with like your one hour thermal pass, anything else that you've purchased, but it's no guarantee that it's gonna be honored. So, that's all right, we'll take it. We're down to deck six. Oh, y'all, here comes Do Re Mi again. That was like the smallest little kids parade ever. That was amazing. <laughs> I think they're doing like a tour, possibly showing the kids the kids areas. So. Cute little mascot though. <laughs> All right, ready to look at deck six? Let's do it. Let's do it. Starting at the back of the deck, we've got the Black Crab Restaurant, which I think is our dining room. We've got the Future Cruise Desk. I think this is all part of the Silver Lounge. And they've got your papers over here in like, I don't know, lots of languages and things that you can pick up. Yes, very silver in this lounge. There's a little bar. This kind of takes us back over to the atrium, looking down toward guest services, which is about the only thing, I think, on deck five of interest. So let's backwards. There's one of those little kiosks that you usually have to use for the credit card. Okay. I think this has taken us back to that cute piazza. Yeah. Yes, all the shopping. This is the Piazza del Doge, I believe is the official pronunciation. Well, this is one of the cutest areas on the ship, I think. It's like the whole outdoor, indoor theming. Oh yeah, that's a lot of gelato. So yeah, this is the Vinci, which of course is the upcharge gelato. A little peek at some pricing there. There's the coffee shop, of course, which is also upcharged, but the snacks should be included. Oh, sandwiches, desserty things. Hopefully we'll be snagging some quick bites from here at some point along the way. All around the piazza are lots of shiny stores. Danger, danger. Actually, wait, around this corner is also something danger here. Let's peek, let's peek. Ah, Casino Veneziano. <laughs> Ooh, there's a fancier sign right there. Now the casino is closed, so I think we're good to look around. Sometimes they have a giant sign that says no cameras. I don't see that on this particular ship. Oh, the locket link, the dragon link. Okay, this is dangerous. These are my favorites. Locket link. Yeah. Man, this casino is wide. It goes all the way over there. Giant bar area. I'm not sure if they're doing like the half smoking, half non-smoking thing. I'll have to kind of look at the machines and determine. Oh, it's so shiny. I came over to this other side now. There's all the table games. Oh, they've got those little Spitfire multiplier machines. Yo, this has a lot of good games in here. We might not even do anything else on this cruise other than be in this here casino. It's only a three-day cruise, and we are here on a casino offer. That's true. It's our first casino offer with MSC, so we have a little bit of free play. Mm -hmm. We'll probably play in here. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably donate it back, but hey, we'll Hopefully have fun not. while we're trying. No, we're going to do other things. Don't worry. And that leads us right back up to the theater, so there is the end of deck six. That is the main two lower public decks done. Looks like the cabin is ready. So we are officially in. Let's look at this cabin for real. So there is the door with all the safety information. We'll have to learn where our mustard drill is because of course we have to watch the video and call the number together and all that stuff. Um, key card for the light switch. That's probably a bathroom. No, that's the light switch. Okay, I can be, I can be taught. Across from that, we have, whoa, two doors worth of hangy storage that look like that. Dee's already got the bags stashed in there. Life jackets up top. Next to those, here, let's open them and back up so that we can see them. We've got lots 
of shelves, drawers, and a safe. I'm already impressed by the storage in here. Full length mirror, thermostat here, bathroom light here. Let's go ahead and peek at the bathroom. Oh, preferably with the light on. Okay, so we got a maybe not too bad little toileting area. There's the towel storage. This is one of those glass shower pods where the doors kind of go into the shower, so that way they don't really take up too much room, you know. Gives you a little extra space, I guess it is, while the shower is not in use. Oh, we got cabinets underneath down here. Oh my gosh, more storage that's actually available to you. So there's like three cabinets. Oh, do we have any sneaky storage? No, we got some shelves over there. Hand towels. Very pleasant. So front door, closet, bathroom, let's get into the main area. We have got a cute little table with a chair type thing. Um, it's loaded up with suitcases right now. Investigate the artwork. There's where they keep their D's. Oh, it's also where they keep their me's because of the giant <laughs> mirror. There's mirrors everywhere. Wow. <laughs> let's come over here to the desk area where we have TV, little storage shelf up top, and a mirror. What's happening down here? I don't know, we have all sorts of like papers to look at outlet situation. We've got two that I can use and two that I can't use unless I bring my converter, which I did not on this trip. Oh my gosh, it's like a LAN thing and a light switch for the uh, vanity. Hair dryer in the drawer. A very hard to pull out drawer. What's that? It's a sewing kit. Oh, well, that's nice. cool. Mini, oh, <laughs> mini bar's locked. Y'all, I'm not responsible enough to open that door. Whoops. And then Standard, oh gosh, I always like to look at the little seating elements. Okay, so two drawers on the nightstand, a pen and paper, but it's a pencil actually, and paper, that's cool. You got the telephone, so no power on that side. No. Oh, I'm gonna say no power on this side either, so nothing built into the lamp. I have the remote control. We've gotten, oh my gosh, our toilet bowl is clean. That is always a plus. <laughs> we got beach towels, robes and slippers, which this is from um, Loyalty. Thank you. And um, yeah. Very nice. They even give you information about your pillows. They provided one soft and one slightly firmer, but they can swap out whatever you need. Oh, there's announcements in the hall. All right, I think we're gonna settle in a little bit. Unpack. Oh. Three whole days. I don't know how to do that without unpacking everything. We'll see. True. Uh, get ready for the whole muster thing, which I think I mentioned a little bit earlier. That's where we all watch the video simultaneously on the television. Call the phone number to prove that you've done it, even though they announced the phone number over the public address system so anyone can call it. And then we all march our happy booties down to our muster station. And then you're done. Yeah. Then the party begins. Boop, boop. We don't sail until 7 tonight. Oh, I did not even know that. Pretty late, yeah. Okay. Oh, well. <laughs> Let's get settled in. Let's do it. Well, while D begins the unpacking process, let's take a peek. This is the breakfast room service menu. Oh man, somebody's already pre-checked. So apparently we're gonna have coffee, we're gonna have milk, and we're gonna have a croissant. That's handy of them. But we are under the Fantastica experience level, so our room service should have waived service fees, which I guess means there's no charge. Yes, it says $3.50 if you're in the Bella experience. So that is waived for us. And side note, if I were responsible enough to get into that little refrigerator, here's how much the things would cost. <laughs> and we've got a cute little do not disturb or please make up my room thing that goes in the door lock. If you are not in your stateroom, please proceed to your stateroom and tune your television to channel number one for English. It is time to learn about safety. Once the video is completed, you must dial 881 from your state room. Don't tell everybody. <laughs> remain in your state room for further instructions. But while you're with us, your safety is our number one concern. That's why we ask you to take five minutes to get to know these important safety procedures. We wish you a safe and happy cruise. Thanks. All right, please dial 881. It's not really a secret, so it doesn't matter. I used to like block it out when we put it in a video, but they tell everybody 881, y'all. We gotta be too legit. Maybe I was too soon. Oh man, it's a pre-recorded message, but yeah, we're, oh, we're on the ball though. The video you have just watched oh. can be viewed at any time Maybe we'll try it again. on the same channel. Yes. Now, please confirm you have watched the video by dialing 881. I repeat, please confirm you have watched the video by dialing 881 try it again. from your cabin phone. Hang up this after you This is Benny, he was our cruise number. director on Seashore. And wait for further instructions. 
Let's just think. Beep, beep, beep. Well, we know what step comes next, so we're going to go ahead and head toward our muster station, which is on deck seven. There we have muster station D here at Luna. Oh, I got him. Boom, quick scan and we are done. Now we're going to go ahead and head up and get ready for this sail away party. Gosh, there's mirrors everywhere. You can't escape them. This is the covered La Sirene pool. Uh, from here, we should be able to continue forward out to the main pool area. We knew, get to that muster station early so we can hit those elevators early and get up here because uh, it's going to get busy. Oh, it's cute out here. They are all decked out for the party later. That's awesome. Oh, we found a couple of loungers over here now. That's right. This is the giant outdoor pool, which is called the Aqua Park. I'm sure we'll explore some of this later. For now, we are ready for a sail away party. Do it. Oh, we were so fast. Whoops. <laughs> They're just now calling decks down. Well, the folks at the muster stations were like, yay, good job for coming down and getting your muster done. So they didn't care that we came down early, apparently. But oops, listen and follow instructions. Don't be like us, even though we're smart. Yeah, it's taken about 45 minutes so far to get the last call for all decks to go ahead and get in there and get to your muster stations. So it's about 5.30 now. We got dinner at 6, so we're going to hang as long as we can and check out some sail away party, hopefully. And then off to dine. Oh, the DJ has come out. We've got the sail away party graphic. I think we've got about 15 or 20 minutes till dinner, so maybe we'll catch some excitement. Well, sail away timing did not work out for us, so we have come down to the Black Crab for our 6 o'clock assigned dining time. Oh, 6 o'clock on the dot. <laughs> There are the two dining times for our dining room. All right, they pointed us in the general direction of our table, and now we will hunt for numbers. done with dinner we're actually gonna go see if we can sneak into the early show it starts at about 15 minutes but there might be some seats into the Pantheon theater we go I think we are okay there are about nine and a half million seats left in here <laughs> balcony level up there but yeah we should be good So I hope you guys are happy because during these three days, right, it's going to be a short cruise. You don't have to cook, you don't have to clean, you don't have to put up with your neighbors. No, 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 no. It's only party, 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 all right? Bienvenido, mi nombre es Moisés. ¿Qué tal ustedes, chicos? Se ven, sí, hay ni para ir, hay. Quiero todas las informaciones. Buenas tardes, yo soy Nolan. Ladies and gentlemen, let's please give it up for the next guys. Thank you, guys.
It is warm beverage time. Whoop. Must resist pizza. Well, we just learned something fun. The hot water machine has a safety on it. You have to press the top button and then hold the bottom button so you can't accidentally burn yourself on hot water. That's kind of a good feature. All right, beverage time. I got some hot and some cold beverage. Boom. We have come back to the cabin to find some paperwork for tomorrow, which is NASA Obama's. Good night. Good night. Oh man, we lost D. <laughs> uh, we came back to the cabin for a little bit, did knock out some work. We had intended to pop back out to the flower thingamajig party at 1030 and y'all It's were, 11. We just got tied up in all the stuff and now we are tied up to be tired. That's all right. It happens. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, but I guess let's, uh, we'll bounce back and talk about dinner at the end. What else? We had the show with all the Beatles songbook. Beatles show, yeah. That's true. Entertaining overall. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. I, it, they're always shorter. I'm always surprised when the ends like, come. But we're done. <laughs> it said it was 35 minutes, and it was about 35 minutes. But, I mean, yeah. solid overall, you know. Costumes were cool. Yeah. Dancing was cool. Singing was mostly mostly, mostly cool. good. Yeah, no. Um, they used tracks, so it's not like live right. music. It's a little loud. Like, oh. Um, but, um, yeah. The mics I mean, were jacked up tonight, too, but I'm glad I could hear them. But the audience participation was really good, which helped, because it was a smaller crowd. Three-day cruise, you know. But, yeah, overall, it was good. Where were the people? They didn't come to the show. Y'all, if you come they on the ship. At the bars, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Might have been. And in the casino, too. Yeah. Y'all come to the shows because mm -hmm. they need people to come watch them. Give them support. True. Uh, anything else other than dinner? I mean, you saw what mm -hmm. we did, yeah? No. All right. Let's <laughs> dig into it. Um, there we go. You had the scallop ceviche. Pretty much have this every time I'm on an MSC ship, mm -hmm. but it's good. It's like. Banana, I think these are supposed to be like plantain chips, but it's like banana chips, uh, scallops. There are some jalapeno in there. It has a nice overall flavor, though. Nice. Uh, I had the Spanish Delights, which I pretty much get every time I come on MSC. <laughs> it's like a charcuterie plate that has like, I guess that's a Spanish ham. Is it ham? Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. Some cheese, some olives, some mushrooms. There's all kinds of good stuff on there. You can't go wrong. You slice it up, you put it on a plate, marinate some of it. Mmm. Good. Now you tried something new, which is called a fried chicken. And it usually comes with mashed potatoes, but mm -hmm. you substituted a baked potato. I did. Um, new to their menu, they said. Mm. And it came with like a hot honey dip sauce. It was really good. I wasn't sure you know, what to expect with like Italian cruise line making fried chicken, you know, but it, it turned out really, really nice. Hot honey. That was my nickname in high school. Okay. <laughs> I had the Indian vegetarian. Surprise, surprise. It was lentils and then the... Uh, like the cauliflower and potato mixture. Flavors were pretty good, actually. I always love the cauliflower dish, but I actually like the lentil dish better tonight, the flavor. The cauliflower dish was a little watery and didn't have as much flavor, but it was still good overall. How can you go wrong? You had an apple dessert. Shocking. Yeah, apple, warm apple crumble, I think they called it. It's good. Vanilla ice cream. It is, in fact, warm. The topping could use a little more sweetness. It's kind of very bland. But it's good overall. We are so predictable with what we're ordering. <laughs> I got the pistachio coconut de quoise, whichever order those words come in. This is a solid little piece of cake. It had really good coconut flavor, coconut flakes up in there, good pistachio flavor, and it blended together really well. I'm usually always satisfied with that happy little cake. <laughs> nice. Speaking of happy, I'm going to be happy because it's bedtime. Yeah, I'm tired. We have a port day tomorrow we in do. Nassau. We have kind of a plan. Mm hmm for something, but y'all have to come back tomorrow and see, won't you? Check it out. Y'all come on, buddy, out of here. <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs>